Well, welcome to Kitchkan Alaska News. Today I'm here with uh, Mark Shear again. You guys, we've done a video with Mark, and we're going to do a quick tour of their uh, nursery facility regarding kelp. Uh, Mark, why don't you explain a little bit the uh, process here and sure. ma ma the basic uh, agreement you have with Yeah, uh, sure. So, uh, uh, so we work uh, uh, with uh, Oceans Alaska here. We rent this uh, facility or the interior of the facility from them. And we, uh, we, this is where we do our juvenile kelp production. Uh, where we take this kelp out to the farm in, uh, outside of Craig, and that's we'll outplant it. And we're probably going to start that this week. Well, what are we looking at here, yeah, then? So, so what we do, uh, the way the process works is we, get, we, we gather uh, reproductive material from the wild kelps uh, out, and state law requires that we take that reproductive material within 50 kilometers of our farm site. So we, uh, so we, we, we're growing three species this year. We're going to grow saccharina, which is sugar kelp, uh, malaria, which is winged or ribbon kelp, and bull, which is nariocystis lucana. So we've, so we've got all of those in here. Uh, collectively, we can do uh, about, uh, you know, about 200,000, maybe 300,000 feet of seed line in this facility. And so explain what that is. That's on those spools yeah, there. So I think this is, and I do, th and I think this is the largest seed production facility in North America to do this kind of kelp seed production. So over here, so when we get that reproductive material, we bring it back here to the lab, uh, you stress it out, and you cause the spore that are attached to that reproductive material to release. And you'd be surprised. It's all of the, the reproductive material we use for all of the seed would fit in a five-gallon bucket. So it's like really, you know, really potent stuff. There's a lot of spore in there. We, we put those into a, a filtered seawater solution, and then we inoculate them, uh, we inoculate these seed spools. Find a good one here. So what you're handling there is a, a spool of twine with a bunch of baby kelp on it, huh? Yeah, and this is just the number 15 same twine that we uh, we do, and it's our artificial substrate that the seed attaches to. And those spore will then turn into gametophytes. Those gametophytes uh, release sperm and egg, which then also land on the, uh, on the substrate, and then that forms the new baby sporophyte, which is the baby kelp plant. And then in here, we... Uh, uh, we control the temperature, the light, and the nutrient availability you know, in each of these rack systems, which allows us to grow those baby kelp to size, and they're uh, to a size that they're ready to outplant. So basically, it's a greenhouse for baby kelp. That's great. Um, and so that is specifically engineered, that spool, so then it can be put on a grow line and yeah. distribute it down the line. So what happens is we take those and that, that, uh, that grow line will go through the PVC and tie off one end and we have a, a mechanism that allows us to put two of them together. And then uh, as we back away, that line feeds through the hole and, uh, and it, it just wraps, wraps on, around the grow wraps, line. Wraps around on the grow line. And then that grow line is suspended about three meters below the surface where the kelp will then grow. And as it grows, the hold fast, which is its kind of root system, but it's not really a root system, it just really it just holds onto it, will migrate from this seed twine to the larger grow line. And then that grow line will grow to a kelp sure. that's two, three, four, five. Right. Yeah, and that there. all happens obviously at the your That'll farm happen. site, which right. is out on the west coast of Prince of Wales. Right. Right. Right, and out at Doyle Bay. So we uh, so for example this one, so this is bull kelp right here. Uh, we come over here. And, uh, green one is. Uh, that, and that's a Alaria. That's Alaria. So, so you can see the little blades on those. Oh yeah. So that's really this, this one's doing really well. And we produce more. We put more spools in here than we need for the farm. Right. So that we can high grade out and take the best of it and make sure that we have. And how how long will it sit in this kind of incubation stage? Shall we uh, say? From you know it could be anywhere from four to ten weeks depending on how quickly they mature. So then essentially this will go on into the farm site in a month or two. Uh, no, most of these will start these really these. Darker one? ones, we'll, yeah. Uh, we'll start sending those out. We may start uh, Thursday or Friday. Oh week. yeah, you're ready to go yeah, to the farm with them. They're ready to go. So yeah. Ready to go. 
You want it, yeah, that's kind of the goal to get a really dense distribution so we, on this twine. Yeah, you don't want it too dense, but you don't have much control yeah. because there's so many uh, in there and then they release those uh, right. sperm and eggs and they settle them, you know, but you try to have enough to, uh, to make sure that you get consistent coverage down the line. So I, we're already kind of probably trying to get to bore people, but to kind of close up, this site is here at Ketchikan. Probably most yep. people don't even realize it's here. It's uh, how, how far out that we're out here, about so three miles? We're about five miles north, right five mile, uh, right by uh, Tensco. It's a floating facility. It's Ocean's Alaska's facility. And they've been great partners to work with. And uh, and then we're, you know, we, we propagate this in the fall and this will all be, all of this should be in the water by Thanksgiving. All right, well, congratulations. Let's do this, your second crop, I guess. And, you got a, a couple people working here, so, so yeah. you're uh, innovating in the industry and you're employing some people. And so we've got we've got two people that we uh, or three people at Catch a Can that we employ, uh, maybe not full time, but uh, close to it. And then we right now we have uh, about five people out in Craig. So uh, well, right. Well, good luck, Mark. Uh, congratulations on the second round of your uh, growing season. Yeah. Thanks, Larry. All right. If we go much.